This is not a nighttime routine that you use when you're trying to, you know, woo someone that you like. So that special person, you don't really invite them over when you're wearing this. You kind of want to proceed with caution because it looks crazy. And today I will be doing the nighttime routine for crochet braids. Now, there are a ton of routines out there. This is what works for me. This is what I like to do. You can definitely modify it to suit your fancy. It is truly up to you. So some people, a lot of people actually like to plait their hair. That's not really for me. That's not something I prefer. So I, with this particular curl pattern, I wasn't concerned about preserving straightness or anything like that. With a curl pattern, I don't think you need to be concerned because it's synthetic hair. It's going to maintain this curl pattern no matter what. I guess if you want to reduce the amount of frizz, as you may not like that look because frizz is not for everyone. But frizz for me is a volumizer. But if that does not work for you, you can definitely go through and plait it. But I would say... Plaiting your hair is something that you need to do the day that you get it. So the night that you go to sleep, that's when you need to start that up and do it every night. Do not, you know, skip a night, you know, and just because it will have an effect on your hair eventually because you will run into some matting, some knots, some tangles, etc. So I told you this is going to be funny and it's just going to be funny because of the way that I'm going to look. This is not a nighttime routine that you use when you're trying to, you know, woo someone that you like. So that special person, you don't really invite them over when you're wearing this. You kind of want to proceed with caution because it looks crazy. You guys are going to look at me funny and it's going to be okay, but I am going to use this pajama shirt. It's from Bloomingdale's. It was in a set. And I don't really wear it. I wear it, but I like to use it on my head. I was like a little gone one night and I needed to wrap my hair up and this worked the best for me. So I'm going to take a pajama shirt like this. It's just a long sleeve shirt. You know, it's a button down nighttime shirt. It's really, it's really perfect. It has a collar and we're just going to get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is locate the collar keep the tag that's the portion that's going to touch your hair so i'm just going to drape this over my head and i'm going to push the edge of the collar the very top edge of the collar right above my hairline because i want to reduce any friction that could potentially rub my edges and you know thin the hair in that area and i'm just going to push the hair back behind my shoulders okay and then I'm going to bring forward the sleeves of the shirt okay and then I'm going to just hold them here and I'm going to fluff out the back of the shirt okay so I'm going to crisscross the sleeve. So this right sleeve will go to the left side and this left sleeve will go to the right side. So I'm just going to crisscross them. Look at that and make sure it's tight. And I am going to cross the sleeves at the front. Then I'm going to make a knot. So you're going to have some bunny ears. You can tuck those if you don't want them out. That's cool. Then you're going to grab the back. So the excess part of the shirt. And you're going to make sure that all of the hair is covered in the back. Do you see that? You see that? Make sure all your hair is covered. So actually the body of the shirt should make a sleeve to encase your hair. And I'm going to take that and flip it upward like that. I'm going to give the, the top portion, I'm going to give the top portion a twist. So I'm going to twist it to the very tip. And I'm going to place that underneath the knot that I made in the beginning. 
and this is how I go to sleep very comfortable it's away from my face it will not rub against the pillows the covers it will not you know be rubbing against itself because I'm moving it's all secure in one location okay that is it if you don't want to use a shirt because it's a little too awkward for you you can also use a headscarf these are not the really really uh big headscarves it's more like a rectangular size if you can see what I mean it's a rectangle it's you know more long than it is wide or thick so I'm gonna do the same thing push my hair behind my head so that it rests on my back so I'm pushing it behind my shoulders I'm going to cut the scarf in half you can measure it you know so that both ends meet I'm going to place it over my head and I'm going to again I'm going to act as if these are sleeves and I'm going to put the right side onto the left side and the left side onto the right side by interlocking it behind my head so I'm going behind okay and do the same thing you know just come make the edge of the scarf meet before your edges so that you reduce any friction and I'm just going to tie that same knot and you can tuck the little bunny ears that it makes and with this one you don't have too much excess so I'm just going to pull I'm going to pull the back of the scarf up and the hair is going to sit on top like this and then I'm going to take a satin bonnet just like this and use it to encase the hair and it's <laughs> just like that I look so weird I would <laughs> not go out in public like this this is strictly for the bedroom yes ladies it's strictly for the bedroom yeah so that's it and another thing I'm about to take this hair out tonight I don't want it anymore I want to take it out it has been in since February 1st it's time to take it out <sighs> and you guys when you see the new style Mm-hmm.